Howdy, y'all. Joe Hills here, recording as I was doing in Nashville, Tennessee, and I am in this brand new area here, which, whoa, I probably should have put a block there, is called Area Bad Dreams, and it says, how's your dreams? Ever dream the nether? Whoa. Okay, great. We got pigmen here, which are probably just waiting to cause problems for me. We got this guy, who is already ready to cause problems for me. This is like a problem-causing farming sim, in which, uh, essentially, I am the harvest mooner, and these are my crops, and let's see. Yay, me too. So apparently whatever he said, he's pretty happy about. So, let's see what we got around here. A lot of gravel. Ghasts down there. Probably should come back with flint and steel. In the spirit of the great reconnaissance painters Leonardo, Donatella, Michelangelo, and Raphael, I have traveled pretty light on this journey thus far. I wanted to figure out what was in this area that I might arm myself sufficiently to actually take on whatever challenges awaited. We have this triangle here, and as far as I can tell, there's not like another triangle directly, you know, nearby. Oh, we can finally find out what this other sign said here. This other sign said, Mobs coexisted with surface mobs. So I guess do I ever dream that mobs coexist... Nether mobs coexisted with surface mobs. I did not. But I now hate it. I hate your dreams 3-2. I hate them. Excessively. Oh good. Skeleton. Where's the ghast? Oh. That is less fun. That is significantly less fun. Where is he? Dang it. Stupid lava wall. There he is. Let's hope I don't hit a pig man or something by accident. Well, now he's outside of my range anyway. So. That's just life, I guess. No! Do not keep shooting at me, Ghast. You're only gonna make life harder on me. Which is... Dang it. Not what anyone wants, especially me. Did I hit him? No, of course not. Okay, so this fellow apparently is going to be a perennial pest, and we may as well just make progress without him. Or without killing him. What can he do to us that, you know, fate hasn't already? Oh, good, now I'm activating pigman spawners. Dang it, dang it, ghast. I'm never going to be able to hit him, am I? Oh, yeah. Excellent. So, let's just continue on our way here. And see if we can get a better read on that little box there. Yeah, no sign or anything. It just, hmm, I wonder if that's a graphics glitch. Well, either way, I'm curious what's in here, and I'm happy to take out that skeleton to find out. So, boom, away with him. So, assuming that the only spawner over here is a pigman spawner is probably not the safest idea. But, I'm willing to hope for that. Oh, good. Let's grab all of this stuff. And flee with it like crazy. So, gold armor and a bunch of bread. That's all useful. I might go and restow that in my respawn area. So, time skip. Okay, so I dug out a little vista point here. These are interesting how these little... Oh, crap, there's a ghast trapped under there. I was going to say, it's interesting how these little islands of soul sand surround the lava. Kind of neat. I'm still curious as to what that is. It appears it is an actual chest now that I'm getting closer. So I figure I'll just kind of follow the trail of chests until I actually find where the birdcage is. So, keep digging, I guess. Tonal rat protocols, activate! Okay, that scared me. There's stone here, apparently. Probably silverfish stone. No. Actual stone? Why would there be actual stone here? What's different about this? Well, that's less than ideal. It's interesting that 3-2 is now suddenly providing us with real stone. And I'm not sure why. 
Is it so we can lull us into a false sense of security? Well, as odd as that is, probably better get back at my normal elevation so that I can actually have my pick going as fast as possible. That is incredibly odd. Most odd indeed. Okay, so we're going to light this up like so. And is there any sign of the actual, how do you call it? Spawner? No, of course not. That would be too easy. So, in the very least, let's try and... Dang it, guys, get out of my way. You are going to be the death of me, which I know is your ultimate goal. But that doesn't make me feel better about it. Let's just grab what we can. Whoa! Grab everything we can. Wow, that could have got a lot worse. Okay, so... Everything goes back in. Everything goes back in. Wait, can we can we throw this here? Dang it. How are... Okay. Not pleased. I have panoplized myself in butter armor, as Mr. Co-Star likes to put it. And now I'm going to make a mad dash to run around here and recover everything that I possibly could have lost. Which, hopefully... We'll include getting back all this cool stuff here. You can see my cool little path over there. But no birdcage. I wonder if it's hidden inside of one of these sheets of lava. But we will have to find that out another day. Because for right now, we are just going to get out of the range of all this stupid stuff. Where is he? Somewhere out there, I can tell you that. Where? Oh, come on. Hit him. That's right. Yep. Dead ghast is the best ghast. But seriously, we gotta figure out how to get all... I gotta offload all of this equipment. Look at how much stuff I'm carrying. We need to put that in a chest so I can begin wantonly attacking everything again. Oh, hello. Speaking of wanton things... Wow, what a wanton disregard for the lava safety. You guys clearly have no idea how to live in this sort of environment, which I guess is the point 3-2 was trying to make with all this. That, you know, wouldn't it be a dream to see these things coexist in peacefully? Well, they're never going to coexist peacefully. They're barely going to coexist, and... No! Oh, you're just kidding me. Well, there goes all that awesome stuff. That I saved. Duh. You do not believe how mad I am right now. Yeah, that's right. I'm just gonna go punch creepers until I find the birdcage. No, but seriously. 3-2, where's the birdcage? Where's the birdcage, 3-2? Like... I hate that this is a single-player game because I can't just run around punching him until he tells me where the stuff is. Because, yeah, this area... This area is angering me thus far. Hey, is this a cave with a torch that he put here? I'm probably gonna die before I get anywhere on account of the fact that I'm already kind of running around wantonly displeased. But, anyway. Until next time, y'all. This is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring. Wow, how am I still alive? Might as well keep the camera rolling until... This was supposed to be kind of a suicide run just to see if I saw any sign of the birdcage. I know that chest down there is definitely not the birdcage. Oh, that skilly has my name on his arrow. I can tell you that. Yeah, I will be... Shocked and awed if I come through this. Wow. This is the most successful suicide run dramatic ending ever. This was supposed to be just like a miserable failure. And those are zombie pigmen there. And there's that sign. What does that sign say? Up. It's a D and an up. So... He clearly wants us to go up. And...
And so I'm going to send this guy down because I've got no interest in taking him with me. Let's just go ahead and grab some of these and go on up then. And of course I immediately have far more of this stuff. Whoa. Man, I should clearly just make runs like this all the time. Where I just come from nothing to nothing. Except instead of going to nothing, I go to success land. Which is a bizarro world which I would never have visited otherwise because it's like where the fancy people hang out. And as you can tell, I'm not particularly fancy. How many stupid pieces of flint am I going to get out of- Whoa, I should probably not just punch the pig man. So up we go. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to get high enough with six gravel here. And five flint. Come on, three, two. Flint collecting. I collect all the flint. Flint collecting. It is almost to a fault. I'm glad you don't have your updated pathfinding. Whoa, that was almost bad. Almost punched the pig man again. Okay, ten. This is getting to be more viable now. Can I jump on? No. Oh, it's doing that rider way off. So let's go see what we can find up here. Probably a bunch of spawners. Oh, hey, I could also make those fall. Which will start a chain reaction that in no way helps me. Huh. Well, if I had come here with blocks, I might be celebrating right now. I did not. At this point, essentially, every piece of supplies in my forward base is depleted. All the cool stuff is destroyed in the lava. All I want to do is bridge out here with the blocks that I have and see what's over there. That's all I want, is just to see what's up there. I want to end this video on a powerful striking note. Something that really, you know, hammers home the lessons we learned today. And I don't know what lessons we learned today because I haven't learned them yet. Dang it, video. 3-2, you best be allowing me to complete this. I don't know. Many of you may not be aware of this. But I actually have a secret project that I'm about to start working on. Which, all I can say is it will be season 4 of my normal Minecraft series. Uh, season 3 was Spellbound Caves. Season 2 was Nightmare Realm. Season 1 was... Of course, legendary. Season 4, I'm starting at the end of this week, come essentially hell or high water, and I've got to get this map done. What do we got up here? Oh, you're kidding me. Yay, another opportunity to be dead. I'm thrilled. That was sarcasm. And what's left in our chest that we can use on our adventure? Nearly nothing. Yeah, those detector rails sure are going to come in handy. So let's see what's up in here. Tell me it's something useful. Cave so far seems to be pretty empty. I thought of this place in a dream I had once. And then it seems to go down. So there's sunlight and water here. Now those lily pads there will kill me if I'm not careful. So I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to descend along here. Of course I could easily poke my head over the side and then foolishly fall to my death onto one of those lily pads. But being as I have no armor, no equipment to speak of, I think I'm going to play this one straight. I think I'm just going to kind of go see what's down here using the magic of what do you, whatever kind of transportation this is. Oh, you're kidding me. Wait, is that water more than one layer thick? Or is this just like some sort of abysmal trick where if I were to hop in here, I'd fall through one layer of water to my death? Wait, 
Well, the water at least seems to be genuine water. There's some sponges in here. Still that glass ceiling. And let's see if we can get down to this sponge layer here and figure out what's what. Oh good, the sponges don't actually work the way sponges are supposed to. Aww. I'm sad. Inside of the sponges here, it becomes apparent that there's definitely something along the ground there. I think I'm going to have to take the sign with me. Keeping a constant... Constant eye on the amount of air we have. Like Jacques Cousteau, we could die at any time in this process. So... Let's do our best to avoid that fate. And let's drop down again. This is definitely... Oh. Okay, I am not loving this mess right here. Okay, okay. Sign. Done. Okay, so we got the sand here. What's underneath the sand? Bedrock. What's in here, then? Anything? Some obsidian over there. Dang it. Okay, let's quickly get back in our little air pocket here. See what we can find over this way. Looks like more of the same, essentially. Little air pocket here. Which doesn't seem to be of any significance. Although, we should check it, either way. Huh. Nope, no real significance, unfortunately. Dang it, 3-2, what were you thinking with this? What is this place? Uh-oh. Well, I'm worried about this. Did you find a record? You've come a long way. Uh-oh. I have come a long way, and I'm really pretty sure that this is some sort of trap. I'm not sure what sort of trap, though. So I think I'm going to remove that. I'm going to remove that. Whoa, that was not what I was going for. But, in fact, that's actually twice as dangerous now. Excellent, just as I might have hoped. Well... So this door is about to be an abysmal problem for me. Let's just slowly punch this door out of existence. Because I'm... I've got no patience for this. I'm not gonna die here and now. With so little food, so little armor, and so much glowstone. So, so much glowstone. There's no excuse for it. We are just gonna destroy this door. One less problem to have. Whoa, train station. Bricks. Torches, coal. What is this place? I guess the way to find out is to follow the tracks. So this is bringing me back up underneath here. Which is interesting. So you've got a two rail system here. Okay. I'm kind of surprised I didn't notice this before. This doesn't take me anywhere. What? I think that this is intended to be a rail station or secret base. So that was the dream 3 2 had. Was a base. Which is not necessarily the worst dream. But it's not necessarily a piece of our jukebox monument either. Before we go, let's just make one last pass. Because if there is a record in here, I will feel mighty stupid if I have ignored the evidence along those lines. I know I saw obsidian here. And this makes me think, let's just, there we go. 
get us some more fresh air there. Come on, come on. Really, how long does it take to break glass? We got bedrock and obsidian. This looks like the th sort of thing where you'd have a record. But like, what do we got here? Just a sponge and a stupid squid. Not my favorite things. See, this, this bedrock here at this layer really is what makes me think that something's about to... Oh, here we are. Far! Yay! Well, let's go get this taken home. By which I mean, let's go bridge for hours. Yay. I am back at 3-2's JBM, or Jukebox Monument, with the disc far in hand. I will place the disc here. Excellent. Now, where do we find that? Underwater, not in a bird cage. Because seriously, I don't know what that was. Light it up, spongeheads. Anyway, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. We've only got two more records left, and I just want to take a moment to announce that March 27th, I'm going to be launching Season 4 of my Let's Play series with a super special project. I can't really give any details now, but it's going to be pretty much the coolest thing you guys have ever seen in terms of me and playing Minecraft and maps. I've gotten a lot of advice and a lot of tips from people the last few months about what they like and what they don't like. I want you to know, you are going to like this. Uh, this is not me saying like, oh, I've got this experimental idea that's kind of out there, but I think you'll like it. It's like, oh my goodness, I have an excellent execution of an idea you will love. So, I'm excited. March 27th. I hope you're excited too. Anyway, until next time, y'all, this is Joe Hills from Nashville, Tennessee. Keep adventuring.